cute little windows. You can open them up. Look at that view out that window. Wow, so nice. Oh. What's up, YouTube? So this is the one I ended up purchasing. Would I purchase it again? Um, yeah, I would. If money was no object, I know they make more expensive ones, but I have to say everything was here. I wasn't missing any parts. It's just, it makes it, when you look at a picture like this, if you've never made one of these before, it just makes it seem like it's a lot easier than it actually is. It's extremely difficult. I've built metal sheds before. They're even harder than this, but this is not much easier than a metal shed. You still got a ton of parts. You're talking hundreds and hundreds of parts to put together. Um, but about the shed, I give it a solid A minus. Um, I mean, for the price, it's an A plus. But you know, with all the other things out there, he's given A minus. I love it. It's it's uh, it, I was what I did was I rented the Home Depot truck. So it cost me twenty dollars to rent the Home Depot truck, and then plus gas was like two bucks, um, plus this. So I got it delivered same day. I had to drive it though. It took me like three or four hours, and I also got to get my foundation at the same time, the wood and the and the and the and the rocks. So um, what I like about it is it does have that sunlight in it. So if it's sunny outside, you can see inside. It does have two windows. The windows are complete garbage, but they do look nice from the outside. They just they don't function very well. Uh, the locking mechanism is not that great either. But I mean, it, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. It could take a lock, no problem. Um, the roof was where I had the hardest issues with it, which it does require two people, one on each side. One, you got to feed it through these little uh, channels. And you need somebody to push up against the skylight while somebody pushes up against the side of the, the shed. Some other things to note is I like this one because it's a side entrance where typically when you see an 8x10, it's on the, the front entrance is on one of the front sides like this. Um, where this one, it's on the actual wider side, not the narrower side. The wider side has a door. I kind of like that. The way my yard was positioned, I had it, I have it set up similar to this, where I, you can have the door here on the left or on the middle. I like it more here. Um, I definitely think it's going to last a really long time. One of the biggest warnings ahead of time is the foundation is extremely important. If this shed is not level, you will have, it'll almost be impossible to construct one of these sheds. Make sure your shed is level. With that said, here's the build. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, let me know. Enjoy. All right, as you can see, I bought some pressure treated wood and I built a little foundation. I also dug up the ground there, tried to make it as flat as possible. And then what I'm gonna do is just fill this in with pea gravel. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this. I actually ran out of pea gravel, so I had to add some dirt as well. But uh, I bought 18 uh, 50 pound bags of pea gravel and that wasn't quite enough. I probably needed 22 to 24 to really fill this in, but uh, it ended up working out all right. So the first thing is make sure you have a really solid foundation. Pavers will work, concrete will work, it's just much more difficult to do that. The next step was to start with the foundation. So I had it all leveled. I leveled out the gravel with a piece of wood, just running it across. And then here is the foundation. It's about six different pieces. Something to know is the screws that fill that that connect the foundation. It's very important. They are with the heavy box with all the um, gutters in it. It's really hard to find. It's not with all the rest of the parts. They're with the gutters. Uh, so do make sure when you get this a box, you open all the parts up and you look through it because I thought they were missing, but you just gotta really look for them. The parts are not easily found. That's why I recommend the first thing to actually do is open up your box and get all your parts out and spread them out. One other thing to be aware of is the way they mark the parts. There might be a part number on the up or the bottom. Some of the parts are reversible. So, so far we've done one wall, we put in the joints, put in the two screws, two screws, another wall, and we got the windows. We installed the open up. Wow. All right, we've got one wall done. We got the back wall done. I couldn't get this one into there yet. That requires two people. The other thing to keep be careful about is like right here, they have these little pieces of plastic that aren't quite bent off yet. You need to fix those. Um, other than that, I, by the looks of how many parts I have left, there's still a lot to do. And I got my cute little windows. You can open them up. Look at that view out that window. Wow, so nice. Oh. Whoops. Man down. Man down. Okay. All right, we got the corner on. We've got our gutters on. Gutter on here. Gutter, gutter, gutter with the extender. 
gutter, gutter. So for this next step, I took these two pieces, connected them there with the two hex bolts each. You have a pair. Then uh, this part's really tricky. You need this little brace here that goes across. You need two of these little support braces each. And you go support brace, this thing, this thing, hex all the way through, and then same thing on the other side, tighten them up. And you gotta do that for one, and then you gotta connect it to the other one to make this little grid here. And then that's gonna drop in as the frame inside. All right, here we are in the dark. So since we saw each other last, we added the little V here. We moved the gutter, we added the gutters. We added the supports, we added the skylight, and then we added the other side here. And now we just need to align this up. The camera's in the way. We need to align this all up, get that flush, tighten a couple screws, get the skylight attached. What we did was we added these little guards right here that go down the whole, the whole frame. So we got those screwed in. We got the top secured properly. Uh, we still don't have the roof, but we have um, all our supports hooked up, our gutter supports, this support, a metal frame. We're uh, looking good, pretty good. So um, we've got a couple more braces to do. I think one more brace along the back wall right here. There's one more brace, and then we're gonna install the roof. We did end up getting the roof on. You can barely see it here, so in the next clip you'll see it during the day, but we got the roof on at night just in case it rained. That all right, we're finally done. You can see it's open over here. We've got the skylight on the top. I've kind of put back on the um, tan bark. Got the window there, still has a blue tape on it. Here's the roof with sunlight. Um, and uh, we got the doors on. We did that at night, so there you go. You have the three hinges here. You gotta build the doors up. They got these little inserts that go into the top bottom and the top to kind of beef it up. You got the front handle, which is the bigger one here. Let's go inside. And then you have the back handle there. Um, here's the inside. You have this little brace here that we put on. And then you have these little four that we put on. They go directly down into the, into the whole shed. That's really the frame. And then you have these supports. These are the gutters. As you can see, you have these two cross members. And then you have the one extension in the back to kind of help hold up the back side. Um, last time in the daylight, we had just put these, screwed these on, these little gutters in the middle with the gutter supports. Then we put the gutter on. You want to bolt down the hex nuts really well. Then you got to put on the top, the back, and then the front. And then you got to put all the rest of the gutter supports, get it nice and tight. And then you got to build the doors, build them up. Got to put the doors on. Um, some of the paint, oh, the, the roof. Whew. The roof is very hard. The skylight moves left to right, so you kind of got to hold the skylight on one side where you snap in the other side. That was a little difficult. It definitely requires two people for that. Um, but it clicks into place, and we got that on. The moonlight is now on. Um, after that, it was just, you know, like I said, the doors and such. And as you see, the windows aren't that great. Um, as far as how I would review this, A, it is extremely hard to put together. It is not easy. I want to tell you guys that up front. It uh, took me probably close to eight hours when it's all said and done. Because I didn't even show you the last step. The last step, see this is all messed up. I'll have to shut it from the outside. But it, all these little things, there's about, I don't know, 80 of them. You got to put it in every single junction. Every junction requires one of these little plugs. It doesn't require it, but that's how you finish it. Here's the foundation. It's a little dirty because it rained when it had the roof off. But uh, all in all, I mean, it's a good it's a good shed. For the price, it's great. Just really understand what you're getting into. You are going to need a hex for the gutters, and you're going to definitely want to power a screwdriver because a normal screwdriver is going to take you a really long time. Um, final, also, uh, last thing as far as like security and stuff, you know, it's not that great as you can see you can lock that there but just do know about that those right there and uh, that's it let's check out the side you can see my foundation windows roof 
So there it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.